What's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and a musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you the steps to recording a song inside of Audacity. So let's go ahead and hop right onto it. So as you can see here, I have several tracks recorded here, but what I wanted to focus on first is uh, why I've recorded this in, in a certain order. Uh, there's no rules, you don't have to necessarily go about it this way, but I think uh, it is the right steps in going about it. Um, I believe the first thing that you should record is any type of percussion. Percussion, that means drums, um, maracas, congas, uh, anything that keeps time and rhythm. Uh, even bass, even bass is considered um, a rhythm part, but we're not, we're not getting to bass just yet. So first, within this song, I have cowbell. So as you can see here, uh, because this song doesn't really have a full set of drums, but it has percussion like cowbells and maracas and uh, cymbal crashes. So first I laid down the cowbell along with the second cowbell. Um, and then we I moved on to the maracas here. And then I have my cymbal crashes. And that's pretty much it for a percussion as far as this song. Of course, your song is going to be a little bit different. It may have full set of drums. It may have uh, a whole another set of percussion. But it's good to start with percussion. That way, once you, that is laid down, you can get a better feel for the song. So once you start recording rhythm and, and melodies, like with guitars and pianos, um, it'll be easier to record. Which leads us to bass, because bass somewhat keeps of the rhythm going but it it's also starts the melodic music so if we cruise down to here i have my bass guitar right here let's uh let's kind of zoom out here and scroll down so next we have bass and keep in mind to record each one of these instruments individually so they each have their own track and we can control and mix them later on and have a better sound overall but anyway, let's continue. I next recorded the bass, and then on top of the bass, I recorded the rhythm guitar part, and then next, the lead guitar part, and let's scroll down, and then last, we have the piano. Okay, so you don't have to necessarily go in this order, but I do recommend going in somewhat of this fashion, but let's go ahead and take a listen to this song that we've kind of laid down here. Alright, so you get the idea. But there you guys go. Those are the steps in recording a song inside of Audacity. If you do have any other questions, please let us know and thank you for watching.